Hello, welcome to Sif Joints. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Ghost Predator. So this figure is um, one of the Kenner figures that NECA has uh, remade. They've done a lot of them now. Uh, they might, I think they've done basically the whole entire line, uh, but I don't think they've run out of aliens to do yet. So to start off we're going to take a look at the accessories. Let's start with the smallest. We have this sort of machete thing. It's um, I don't even realise this was in the box because I totally I didn't see it. Um, uh, it's it's quite well detailed. Uh, it's a uh, it's it's one sort of straight colour uh, silver. It's not got uh, any sort of detail on it, but it's it's sculpted uh, really really well, and uh, he holds it quite well as well. So that's good. Next up is the um, spear. Uh, this is good. Uh, it's it's quite well detailed. It's it's um, sculpted very well. Um, there's sort of um, particle, brown particles on it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely there. Uh, and I'll, you'll see it. Uh, it's just kind of grainy. And then the uh, actual sort of staff here. It's uh, it's not just straight brown. But there's still not much detail here, which I I feel like there could have been. But it's it's still very well sculpted, and he I think he I think he holds it uh, quite well. I'm not sure. Let's see in a bit. And last but not least, we have the mask, which it's a bit big, uh, oversized. But I don't think it'd fit on his face if it wasn't this big. Um, the sculpting inside is really interesting. Um. And uh, it, it's a detail that um, seems quite unnecessary. There's a lot of detail on this as well, sort of brown, sort of dirtied um, wear and tear, uh, sort of lighter silver for the eyes, uh, sort of more bronze, kind of brown. Um, but yeah, this is this is good. Now for the actual um, figure here, uh, this uh, got far more articulation as this is a uh, sort of new body um, sort of mold it's got uh, way more articulation in the legs and the, the arms are quite quite well done compared to the original uh, sort of jungle hunter uh, which I got years ago I don't even know where that is um, it's got it's it's very well painted um, you can sort of see the silver lining uh, the fishnet um, he's got his uh, dreads, obviously. Uh, they're just all one colour, and then there's the sort of brown silver stuff. Uh, the the sort of armour pieces um, got a lot of sort of brownish kind of paint splatters, kind of. It's it's very rustic. That's the word. Um, he also has the disc, which uh, I sort of forgot. So this is hard to get out. Uh, as you can see, I'm struggling with it. I'll just be back, be back in a minute. Alright, yeah, just kind of stick your finger in there, and then you get out. Uh, this is, a uh, yeah, again, quite well detailed, actually. Um, obviously, you can't really hold it. Uh, you can kind of, but it's like, there's no hand that is actually designed for this to be held in. So, I think that's probably why uh, it goes in here, mainly because you can't hold it anywhere else. Sort of swivels at the waist, but it's quite hard, and I uh, I don't really want to go the full way. I don't think it's really meant to. Yeah, he's a swivel at the lower arms. You know, his hands are on a ball joint. Uh, he's also got the um, blades. You know, we'll be careful with them. They will snap very easily. I've had this happen to practically almost every predator I own currently. Uh, I'm much more careful with them now, but I think this is due to just being a bit stupid and young. The face, this is a good face. This is like very, very scary kind of. You got piercing eyes, very well painted in there, well detailed. You can kind of see the sort of jaw come apart, you know, there. It's not too noticeable, but you kind of see it there where the eyes are, you know, his eyes. This is it sticks out. This one, uh, the the jaw, uh, the, you know, it, it's actually quite, it's very threatening, um, and the sort of a mouth is a, also very well detailed uh, on the inside. In there, the teeth are very uh, cool looking. 
And this is, this is a bit pink around the, these uh, sort of black bits of, I don't want to say skin. It's a, it's very classic, uh, this predator. It's very uh, sort of basic. You know, your basic predator. A bit like uh, the jungle hunter. Uh, now for putting on the mask. So you want to just sort of slip it on. Uh, it's actually kind of strange, it's like that, that, and it, it stays on pretty well, like it doesn't just come off. Um, but, you know, it does, it sticks out a bit much, you know, it's kind of silly. Uh, well, it's not silly silly, but, you know, it kind of, big head, really big head. Like, uh, I think it's just the whole jaw makes it stick out far more than it, you'd think it would. Now for the machete, you just want to see this, this one's stressful there, uh, right, uh, in it goes, there we are, there we go, uh, barely, uh, Christ, don't break it, do that, you know, you so you sort of want to turn it, and then it stays quite well, and uh, this is cool, this is a cool look for a predator, I don't think we've had any, uh, like this, and then you can't actually hold the spear, but you can sort of balance it. I think if you try really hard, it stays like that. Um, and uh, you know that's all right. Uh, it's a shame you can't. I think if this was a, you know one of the ultimate ones and not just one that's in a normal box, and like basically all the other ones. Uh, I think there could have been an alternate hand sculpt that could hold the spear. Uh, better than, well, he can't even hold it, so, whoa, he almost died. A nice uh, additional detail is this. This is entirely new. Uh, it's this sort of self-destruct thing, timer. Um, you know, this is kind of flat as well. They're all one colour, but, you know, that's a really nice detail right there. That's, like, I never even realised uh, until after quite a, a while uh, that that was there. But no, this is uh, this is probably one of the best uh, predators in the Kenner line because it's not like a, a very sort of ridiculous over-the-top design like some of them. There's a glow-in-the-dark one and stuff, uh, but they're not all silly as well. Like, but this is a sort of far more basic one. You know, you could probably see this one turn up in a movie. It's far more likely to. But it's it's a very cool figure, and if you like predators, you're gonna want to get this one because it's just, you know, it's um, it's just your standard predator, and it's a very very well made figure. So thanks for watching. This was the NECA Ghost Predator figure review.